So, Ambernick has released a new firmware for the RG28XX, and I just needed to install this myself, so I thought I would document how to install new firmware for the RG28XX. So, you'll need a few things. You'll need, of course, an RG28XX, and this is the uh, SD card that comes with it. I don't recommend using this card for any firmware reinstallations. I recommend just keeping that getting yourself a SanDisk or some other reputable brand micro SD card, 64 gigs for the firmware with the uh, Ambernick pre-installed games, and of course some sort of adapter to plug micro SD into your PC. So let's get started. First off, you may want to install some software. There is a software called Rufus that will write the firmware update to your new micro SD card. And you can download the official version of that, or you can actually skip this step and you can use the uh, version that's provided by Amberdick in the software download. I like to have the official software when possible, so what I did was I went to the Rufus website, which is rufus.ie and scroll down a bit and I pick the uh, portable image here which you can kind of burn to a USB drive for using on other systems if you like but it doesn't much matter as long as you get either one of these first two here so I got rufus 4.4p.exe and I just downloaded that and I made a directory for all my firmware installation stuff on my PC, put it in there. And the next thing we need to do is get the actual official firmware. So to do that, we need to go to Ambernix website. And the easiest way to get to the firmware is to go to win.ambernix.com. And you might notice it brings up, well, the Win 600. And it doesn't much matter that this site says Win 600. This is where Ambernick hosts all their firmware downloads. So of course we're going to, go, going to want to click on firmware here. And when we do that, we will see a page of a bunch of firmware downloads for pretty much all of Ambernick's consoles if they've released firmware downloads for them. And since the RG28XX is pretty new, it's actually the first one in the list. If you scroll down a little bit and just go to download now. And when you do that, you will get a page that looks something like this. This is the new firmware that's just released. And if you scroll down a bit, you can get the original firmware. But this link right here is one you'll need to copy and paste into your web browser. I don't know why they didn't make that clickable. At least it wasn't clickable when I went to download it. So copy and paste that link into your web browser, and then you will get to a site called WeTransfer. And you should see something looks kind of like this. And there's a download button. You click the download button, it will start downloading the firmware. And at that point, maybe you should go make yourself a snack because this will take a while. It's a 60-ish uh, gigabyte download, so you will need some time. I mean, my internet connection's not the fastest in the world, but I don't think my internet connection was limiting me, and it took me about an hour or so to download the firmware. So if you're at this point, you can pause the video, <laughs> come back later, and hopefully your firmware will be downloaded. So we're going to kind of uh, fast forward time here a bit. And let's say the uh, firmware has actually been downloaded. So the next thing we need to do is kind of prepare for the firmware installation. So to do that, what I did here is I have my copy of Rufus. And here is the firmware file right here. It's a uh, zip archive. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up that zip archive. And inside there, you'll see a directory, which has all of the firmware. And it actually has two versions in there, one without the install games and one with the install. I'm going to assume here that we want to actually keep the pre-install games. So 
we're going to open up this, we're actually going to copy this directory back to the directory that I created for all my firmware stuff. So that's what I did. So I just copied that directory right back here to my little uh, firmware install directory I created on the desktop. At this point, if you're running low on hard drive space, you can go ahead and delete the original archive here. That'll save you uh, about 60 gigs or so of space. So this is now the extracted firmware directory. And we're going to go in there. And if we do, you'll see the two directories here. The one on top, the N16 gigabyte, is just the firmware with no pre-install games. If you uh, want to use that one, you can probably get away with a 32 gig micro SD card. The one down here below is the one I'm going to use, though, because I want to keep Ambernix pre-install games. So I'm going to go into there. And if you go in there, you'll see a whole bunch of files here. And what this is is a multi-part zip archive. And they probably did it like that to make sure that this worked with FAT32 file systems. You know, if you downloaded this to a, to a uh, small uh, USB flash drive or something, it wouldn't get weird because the files are too big. But the important thing is you can see their version of Rufus down here. You can also see this, which is the actual archive that we need. So what we're going to do is click on that to uh, open it up. And inside there is finally the file that we're going to need to install to our Anbrick, which is, that's the uh, firmware image file. So I uh, am going to copy and paste that back to my original little firmware installation directory that I created on my desktop. And at this point, you can... If you want to save hard drive space, you can delete this directory because we don't need it anymore. The only file that we actually need is the actual firmware file down here. So in fact, you can delete both of those if you're uh, running low on space. So that is the firmware file that we need to install. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to get our micro SD card and whatever... Uh, adapter here that we're going to use to plug it into our PC. So go ahead and at this point plug in your micro SD card to your PC. And if it comes up and opens up a directory, doesn't really matter. So because we're going to completely overwrite this card anyway. So we're going to assume here that we have the card in the PC. And we're going to open up that Rufus program. Now I used Rufus on that I downloaded from the Rufus.ie site. Presumably if you don't want to bother with that step you can use the one Ambernick provides in the archive if you actually uh, extracted that as well. But when you open up Rufus you will see a screen look something like this. So if you have your micro SD card already in before you open Rufus then it will probably pop up something like this. And if you don't see your uh, micro SD card there, make sure the capacity and the drive letter match because you don't want to install this over, say, a, uh, another card or a flash drive that you don't want to lose. So make sure you've got the right drive here. And then what you'll do is you will use right here, click on that, and it will let you select a firmware image. So what I did was I selected the image that we had just extracted here. And at this point, you're pretty much ready to go. As long as you verify that you have the right, you know, drive that you want to install to and you have the right image file, then basically you just click on start. And at this point, it's time to go get another stack because what will happen is it will start writing the image to your micro SD card. And again, I'm going to compress time a little bit. It took, I believe, about 20 minutes for me to install this image. So when it's done, you will see something that looks like this. So it'll say ready. Now at this point, you can just close Rufus and you can eject your micro SD card from your PC and you'll have your uh, 
micro SD card back with hopefully the firmware installed properly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to finish up by pulling out our Anbridge here. So you want to put this card back into uh, the place where you took your old firmware card out. So just put it in here and let's turn it on so both cards are in. I have, to, I have a card with some more games in here. So when you hold down the power button and turn it on you'll see the Ambernick logo. <coughs> And what you will get is, you'll get the uh, usual Ambernick boot up sequence. And let's see if we have our firmware installed. You may get, depending on what version you had before, you may get a uh, an installing firmware type screen. And if you do that, you just wait for a little bit. But let's see. I'm going to click on settings. I have to click the right button. And we're going to go over here to system information. And there's my firmware version. I don't know if you can see it here because it's small, but there's my new firmware version that says I have V1.0.3. And what that means is the firmware update is all done. And since I uh, have the one with the Ambernick games, if I go to flashcard one, I can see that the uh, games that Ambernick provided are still there. And we are done. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, video walkthrough of installing the new Amberdick firmware. I do strongly encourage if you want to upgrade your firmware in your in your Amberdick, and this goes for any Amberdick console that has a flash card, don't use the one that was provided. Those are not terribly good cards. Go and get the uh, card I bought was, I think, $9 at Walmart. Go get yourself at least a name brand micro SD card. Save yourself the headache later on. And, you know, that way uh, you won't have to worry about your card crapping out on you <laughs> in the middle of a gaming session. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful for you. If you, uh, enjoy the content on the channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I will see you next video.